Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to do, this is not a new product by any means, but I'm going to do something that I don't know what to call it. Maybe it's on sale. Is it worth it? I don't know. Something like that. Basically this Tarte Rainforest After Dark palette is on sale. Um, this was huge when it came out. It was limited edition. It went away. Then it came back and now it's been permanent and a lot of people have gotten it, but I haven't gotten it because I don't know. I just even though it has a lovely mirror, even though they're great, great neutral colors, and I'm sure they're amazing, I just haven't found the, like, I can pay for this kind of feeling. You know what I mean? So, um, this is on sale right now. I believe it was $24. I'll list it to be sure. But, um... I wanted to pick it up and grab it because I heard so many people rave about how wonderful it is. So I kind of want to do my own little um, testing of it and see if it's as wonderful as everybody says. Sorry, my hair is wet. So when it's wet, it kind of like ugh, drives me crazy. Um, okay, so we are going to do this together. And I'm going to do the blush that's in here, the um, bronzer and the highlighter and do the eyes. I have my foundation on already. I have primed my eyes, um, did my concealer, and I did my eyebrows. Hopefully I don't get too messy with this and regret doing the concealer already. So let's get started and dive on in. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do for my transition color is I think I'm gonna go into this color right here. It's kind of like a uh, milk chocolate. So I was really disappointed um, with the Tarte uh, Holiday Palette that I did end up returning it. The mattes and everything in there were, there was so much variety and there were so many mattes. I was so excited, but it just, they're just way too, they're way too light. There's no pigmentation. There's no like pizzazz, there's no wow, no nothing. Even the dark shades are so light and the light shades are like almost invisible. So I really just couldn't justify the price. I couldn't justify doing it. So um, it has since been returned. So I think that, I don't know, they've had good holiday kit collections that have come out like the Tartlet everybody loves. I haven't gotten that one either. Same thing. It's just so little shadows, so much money. So we'll see. I haven't got that one yet either. And, um, I don't know. It just, it wasn't good. I would, I would tell you if it was just because I didn't like it, but I've actually talked to a couple of other people too. And same thing. It's just no pigmentation. It's just not there to take Let's just use the highlight, I guess. We're gonna take the highlight color for the brow bone. There's not really a brow bone color in here. This color is a little too mauve tone um, to put on the brow. So we'll just go ahead and use the highlight that's in here. And highlight under them brows. And I know my brows are like scary terrible right now, so just ignore that. Okay, I'm gonna take more of like a domed shape brush to pack some color on. And I'm going to go in with this really pretty like plum burgundy shade. It has some glitter in it. It doesn't look too bad. Just a little bit. And I'm going to take this into the outer corner. I'm going to blend that out. Okay, on the center of the eyelid. I am going to take this really pretty gold shade. That is super pretty and super pigmented. I like that a lot. Okay, I lost a little bit of that purple in the outer corner over on this side. Blended a little too much. So I'm going to just deepen that up just a little bit more. And I'm going to go in and blend. So 
really simple, easy, quick. That was so fast, beautiful um, eye look. I think that just looks really pretty. It's like nice and simple, a little neutral, little pop of shimmer on the eye. I really like that a lot. Okay, so now let's go in just ever so slightly into that inner corner highlight and just put a little highlight. The gold is doing really well, so you really don't need a lot. Just put just a little bit. Perfect. Okay, let's go ahead and finish with the face, and then I will do mascara and eyeliner off camera. Okay, for my bronzer, I'm going to go in with this Lorac um, contour brush that came with the palette, and I'm going to go in with the bronzer. And I'm not going to do a strong contour, but just warm up the face a little bit. Just ever so slightly. Blend that up. And we're going to do a little under the chin, jawline, stamp it on. Blend it out. And we'll do the hairline, not that I need any more darkness up here. I have so much right now from the sun. I feel like doing my school job has made my tan stick around a little longer, causing skin cancer, I'm sure. Okay, then we're going to go in with my MUA Angled Blush Brush, and we're going to go into this really, really pretty, it's actually like a very neutral, um, it comes off more pink on camera, but I think it's a very light, like everyday kind of neutral, rosy toned. Okay, then we're going to go in with our highlight, I'm just going to use a Real Techniques brush that, uh, blush is a little powdery but they're so pigmented and gorgeous and they're the 12 hour ones so really like you know hold on tight kind of whoa baby look at that highlight mm -hmm. okay, I'm just gonna take a little angled brush and just go in just a little bit with that gold um, right here on the bottom Just a really tiny, tiny bit. Nothing where it's going to be like a ton of shimmer on my face. Just barely patting it in. Okay, I just took my gold um, from 20, or the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On in Stargazer. Just a really pretty like golden color and put it on the lower lash line. And then I took from Ulta, it's the Gel Eyeliner in Penny. And I just put that on the top lash line. Not really to give it like a super duper liner definition, just a little bit. Okay, so I went ahead and finished putting on my mascara and I just put that gold underneath. You saw what I did to my eyeliner, so my cheeks are done. Bronzer, highlighter, face. This is the eye look that I created. Okay, my lips, uh, by the way, are the Doll 10 again, the Bella. I love them so much. I've been really enjoying them. Okay, so my overall thoughts. It's on sale. Is it worth it? I think so. I think I created a really quick, easy eye look, face look, everything. This is a great, great all-in-one. I'm kind of disappointed that... I waited so long to pick it up because I think this is a great all-in-one. All you need is just your eyeliner, your mascara, your brows, and some lip, and you're ready to go with everything that's in here. It's so pretty, and I think it makes a really versatile, everyday look. Really, really pretty. I am very pleased with this, and I highly recommend picking this up, especially while it's on sale. I hope you enjoyed this little mini quick fast review, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys!